Hey, welcome to this new video. Um, today uh, we will be trying the new chat GPG release by OpenAI. Um, and I think everyone kind of know OpenAI now because they release a lot of things um, this year. We have this study, for example, for image generations. We have GPT-3 that was really amazing. And um, today they are releasing a new product called ChatGPT. And it seems promising. I've tried it and uh, it's really interesting and I wanted to share with you here so you can see how far it can go. So I will just try uh, basic stuff like first um, asking some quickie existential questions and um, I will try to test if the AI can actually replace some of the application I've did before um, like this one, um, this ULF school. It's actually a path-based uh, platform so you can just like if you want to learn maybe data science, for example, you can find a path to learn data science and everything. And I want to challenge the AI to actually reproduce, I mean, the content, like creating the path of each um, course I want to learn. And if it is good enough, I think I'll just integrate it in the final app as a kind of virtual assistant. You can speak with him and he can give you the directions about what to learn and whatever. And the second is this app I was, I'm working on right now. It's, um, um, <clears throat> CV customization AI. It can just help you to land jobs, um, by customizing your CV for each job you're applying for in this cover letter also. So we will challenge chat GP3 to actually kind of recreate this, but I think this will be a bit more creaky because it include a lot of things. You have to power CVs, you have to create a huge data set and train and, you know, a lot of things in order just to recognize some item on the CV and rewrite the CV depending on the job you're trying to apply for and do that automatically by looking for jobs. And I, I don't think that will be possible, but I'm quite sure if we'll be able to get something out of this um, July school stuff. So I think he will be able to kind of create a path out of something I want to learn. So let's get started. Okay, let us some basic stuff like um, what is, um, I will just try, you know, some abbreviations to know if he's able to understand what I mean. This is server-side rendering. It's actually a front-end term used in next years or view, view next, actually. So let's just try it and see uh, a few different things. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, great. So I think he passed this test, kind of, um, and ML. Uh, this this must, must be kind of easy, it's just machine learning. Okay, great. So, okay. So um, I will just try some really weird stuff, like why do humans exist? There's no definitive answer to this question. It's a topic of debate, okay. Still, other may hold different belief and have different explanation. The question is why human exists is a deeply personal. Wow, really good answers. I'm not like, you know, taking position. It's just saying you can just answer yourself. Okay, um, is the world flat? No, the world is not flat. The idea of flat world, they bang it by. Okay. Uh, last question, um, what is the future of humanity? I think it will say something philosophical. Uh, yeah, exactly the same thing. Continuous technological progress, uh, population growth and urbanization, climate change and environmental degradation. So you don't think we will kind of overcome this climate problem? The health climate is changing as a result of human activities. Okay, social and political changes, um, it's likely to be there will be change. Uh, I think this is a bit more direct. Um, it's not like the first answer, it's kind of more strict and more positioned. Like, um, talking about climate here, okay, interesting. So let's get into the code, okay, let's get into generating code actually. So um, let's try first with um, 
the first one. Let's try with uh, this one, okay? Let's ask, for example, how can I learn data analytic? If you want to learn, start by learning basic statistics. Oh, interesting. Consider taking an online course, uh, gain experience, keep learning. Uh, I want a roadmap. I'm sorry, but I'm made with bribe roadmap. Uh, I'm a text based. No, no, no. Okay. So, um, Sure. Start by gaining solid foundations. Statistic. Whoa. Wow. Um, this is actually amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So um, here I have to learn probability. I have to learn programming. Okay. Let's let's just check. Uh, statistic, calculus, linear algebra, probability theory, Python, data structure, algorithm, data analysis, and visualization. It's actually really really accurate so let's do the same for web development okay oh i just can copy the question here can just copy this um more web development sure start by learning html css let me compare it to the path i had here um, web development HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Git, front-end, and back-end. Uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, front-end. Uh, web design, CSS, okay. And then back-end, of course. Interesting. Uh, back-end, web services, and API. It's actually kind of the same thing. Wow. Yeah, you have to learn a language. And as then back-end concept and containers. Let me check it here. Back-end, web services, API, database management, and design. Again, experience and real world and keep it's actually really interesting. So if I say, uh, can you explain the part about backend? Uh, no, I think, okay, backend involves logic. No, but it's kind of interesting though. I think it's good, but um, it cannot actually replace a complete application. Let's try it for the second one before giving a conclusion or something like that. So how can I formulate that replace this thing that is actually an AI? So I will ask this AI to create this AI also. Um, okay, let's say how can I create a model? for CV, I think. Gathering data, of course, uh, using energy, naturally. Find a model, uh, well, but yeah, that's exactly the right way of doing that. Uh, evaluate, per yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, so interesting. So let's start by gathering the data. Can I have the code for? I think I will just check the most challenging task. I think it will be uh, data collection, but I don't think it, it can help. Okay, for data, for gathering list collection series. Yeah, it can't do that at the moment. Okay. Okay, can you show which model can I use? Okay, that's actually a good question. Yeah, the, the, the interesting thing here is that um, it's answered depending on the last things he said. Like we were talking about CV and every next answer are about the CV stuff. And that's really interesting. But decision trees, that's for some other tasks, not for CV customization. Okay, I just talk about CVs. Okay. 
okay, let's say um, no for CV customization instead. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay. Natural language generation. I think this would be a good thing for education, actually, you know, just something where you can just type some prompt and it can just give you a quick answer and it's actually so good. Okay. So, uh, for the steps, I think the AI is actually really good to just reproduce the text, but I think you can actually code um, an example of how does an ng an ng code look like that a set of examples language model template or grammar I want the code actually Which models, for example? It seems a bit more difficult thinking. Okay, RNN. Again. Okay, let's try it with can. Yeah. Not working. So uh, I think we have our conclusion. I'm not worrying about an AI replacing all my applications. So it's just good. Um, I think we'll just stop the video here. And uh, if you want to try it, we'll just put the link in the description. You just need a phone number. And I think they are just launching in some few countries now. You can just try it and see if your country support it. And maybe uh, if you find something more interesting, just uh, comment down and we discuss about it and see you in the next video. Ciao.